Hello, thank you for checking out my YouTube channel today. Today's video, I want to do a follow up on this book, 8088. Wanted to cover a few more things uh, external ISA slots, uh, adding a mouse, a few things like that. Um, I'm not going to go in as much depth this time. I'll probably repeat a few things. Uh, went into the hatches and that last time. I did tear the whole thing apart once. Uh, I didn't make a video of that. I don't really want to tear it apart again. It may not work again after that. Not that it was that technical, but. So, um, in my last video, um, I didn't have my power button. I did find it. Uh, it was in a little tiny bag attached to the packing material around this. So, if you haven't found your power button, it's probably in the box somewhere, hopefully. It's much nicer with it. So the, let's get into it, the ISA bus. Um, somebody posted the pinout on this on the Discord page. It's pretty much identical to ISA, except for it's missing two pins on, uh, I want to say it's this end, don't quote me on that. It's the ground and the channel check pin that's missing. And channel check just triggers your non-maskable interrupt. So it's not super critical. Uh, maybe a few cards require it, but there's actually a lot of cards that don't need it. And there's already a couple of grounds on there, so just another ground. Um, for your little board here, there's a little tab, so you don't plug it in upside down. I don't particularly like how long this cable is. It uh, could be a little bit shorter. I know with my projects, there's kind of a limit to the length of the ISA bus. Okay, so... One thing I don't like is this does not clearly state which way the cards go in there. I mean, maybe it's obvious to other people, but to me it's not obvious. I guess maybe one of the biggest factors, I know right now because I've been playing with it, your power is on this side here. Where on most motherboards, your power is going to be on this side of the ISA slots. Maybe that's the giveaway. Um, all the writing. So if you were looking at it, the back of the case would be here. But usually what I end up doing is uh, I power it on and I get my voltmeter out because I don't want to plug it in backwards. I don't want to fry the few cards I have and I don't want to... I'd rather uh, just check. And so I'm pretty confident this is it here and I look for 5 volts between the first and third pin be also the same on the bottom here you can check either end first and third pin get five volts um not necessary if you you're pretty confident on what you got so so here's what i've learned don't really need to troubleshoot it in the video but uh i definitely want to plug my card in first before I put some power to it. You know, I don't think it's good to plug them in hot. This is a multi-IO, parallel serial game port, floppy drive, all that stuff. Um, what I learned, though, is you want to put the power to the board. And... I don't know if it's necessary, but it just seems to work better that way. Uh, which means, and I don't think it's charging the the laptop anymore. So you have to do it with a full battery, at least for now, unless somebody figures something else out. Um, just using a nine pin serial mouse today. Now, I've already uh, set up the mouse drivers on the PC, but um, so you don't, you don't need to worry about uh, copying it over in this video, but all you're going to do is copy it over from your USB stick and set up your auto exec. So everything's connected. Now, I already troubleshooted this. I, I'm not going to show the errors. But what you're going to want to do is press F6 when it shows up here at the top. And calm detect. So by pressing F6, it calm detects. By, if I don't push that, 
As you can see, mouse driver installed. Let's see if we can get that screen in there a little nicer. It does say mouse driver installed is cut off by one digit there. Um, I found like if you disconnected the power, it, it uh, it'll uh, not install. It's not finding the COM port. Let's just start over. So I haven't disconnected any power. It'll boot it up again. I'm not going to press F6 this time. It should take it. Uh, it has in the past, but let's see. So installed. Um, I wouldn't bank on it. Uh, just be in there. Pressing F6 doesn't hurt. It it just seems like if you disconnect the power, then you got to press it again. Um, but if you have no, if you have the power connected to the laptop, not to the card slot, then it'll never install it. it. I don't know if it's just not enough power back there or what. So let's just demo the mouse. Just open at it. So you can see that it is working. See, and there's our, so getting it in the screen here, yeah. So the mouse does work, which also indicates that the card slot works. Um, now, I, I don't know what's all connected. I did see that when I opened the board, there is a DMA controller. So I'm thinking all your DMA pins are connected as well to the card slot. I don't think 12 volt is connected. It could be, could meter it, I guess. Uh, but... Uh, other than that, other than the 12 volt, I would think everything else is connected, all your interrupts and all that. So let's do a little bit more deeper dive into the some software, some other programs on here while we're uh, into this video. Let's exit. And adjust the camera here, get a little bit better shot at the screen. So let's see here, your version, MS-DOS 6.2.2, I think I said in my last video, I really doubt this thing's licensed. I don't even know if you need a license anymore, but I, I would think so. I don't think I've ever heard of DOS being free to the public. Memory, 640K. For some reason, when they set up their, their uh, auto exec, here, we'll just edit the auto exec. They put DOS high. I don't know if that was out of habit by the the guys that put it together or if they uh, didn't know any better. And actually, it's not in the auto exec. It's in the config.sys. So, but I did add, in the auto exec, I added the mouse folder and uh, or directory. I think it's the right term in DOS. And then mouse to run it. Let's uh, open... So I went in here and I changed DOS low. I think if you, you could probably just take that line out. I left everything else in there, though. Um, that's kind of the things I found. Now, I don't know if it's the compact flash or if it's the speed or what, but this is a little bit slower. I, it is meant to be the 4.77 megahertz. So it's a little bit slower than the, the builds I make. I'm going to open up Windows on this one in this video. I want to say it was 3, yeah, 3 0. Now, I did put a NEC, uh, I'm gonna, I did put a NEC uh, V20 in there. I almost went into the turbo mode, but I remembered uh, when I do it crashes with the NEC V20. At least mine does. 
So with the mouse working, let's see if we have a mouse in Windows. I don't know if we will. We should, even though it's a serial mouse. I guess not. Let's, uh, but this is your, this is Windows working for you. I want to say there might have been a uh, this, long time since I played with Windows 3.0 or 3.1.1. So our screen's off again. But let's just see if there's a see if there's a mouse driver for Windows. I'm thinking there might be. It's kind of hard to read it with everything off to the side there. So Showed this in the last video, I think. Uh, I go to mode 40, mode 80, and then uh, there was like a little sheet somebody sent out. Uh, if you go back and forth between the modes a few times, you'll get it to correct on you. Let's see if we can find a, uh, if there was a mouse. I don't think I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's on there. Somebody's probably typing in the comments if they can see it. But, um, but anyway, that was Windows. As you can see, it runs. It's not like incredibly slow, but it runs. So what else is on this thing? So I've heard Area 5150... I started it the other day. It did run a bit, and then uh, I just stopped it. But uh, from what I'm hearing, uh, in the comments on the Discord page is uh, it'll crash after a while. I haven't played around with whatever the TC, TW. I don't know if there are utilities for this. Um, let's, uh, let's open MSD for a bit. Now, this will show us our... Our com ports and that. Try to get a better focus. My uh, my camera keeps auto focusing. I've tried to get it to stop, but anyway, you can see. Use the mouse as a little pointer here. I've got a. It does pick up the neck uh, V twenty or V thirty. Now, interesting, I was wondering how programs or programmers were detecting which chip they have. Um, I was reading the other day, it has to do with measuring, like, the speed of running certain functions. Um, so the V20 is going to run a certain function in a different way than an 8088. And so it's a little program they run. And, it, and then they can basically, uh, it doesn't say, oh, yes, you have this. It kind of, you deduct which one it is or isn't. So it was interesting. I, I thought, are these guys, do they know some special command that tells you what chip it is? But it, from what I was reading, it's not. It's uh, a little pro. You, you run a bit of code that's unique to each one. To be, so anyway, uh, I think I hit this last time. It shows the 65 uh 535k extended memory like and this is what happens on my computers as well the there is no extended memory but it's thinking it has some uh cga which is correct for this machine it uh, does have the cga controller uh no network i thought about doing the network card in this but i think the serial is enough to show that um that the isa works uh Mouse, it says not detected, but then it says maybe that's the version. Let's click on it, see what it says. So, hardware not detected, but Microsoft is the driver, serial mouse, com file, com one, um, two button. Let's see here. Have the 
I or Q listed. Uh, yeah, for I or Q4. So. But interesting, I was looking here, I would have thought I would see a COM port listed. And actually, I should see two COM ports listed and a parallel port as well on that card. So at least MSD is not picking up. Maybe the BIOS is picking it up. Um, let's see, device drivers. Should have a mouse in there, maybe. Um, but Windows 3.0 says not active. I'm thinking that's because we're not in a Windows session. And then you can go back to the DOS prompt and keep Windows running in the background. So I think that's why it says not active. Can't say for sure, though. Um, let's check the memory browser, see what this shows us. So your ROM is in this area here where the lines are. And then you can see your CGA uh, RAM is there. And then all the way down here to your your 64K of RAM down here. Let's see what shows at the bottom where your internet vector table is. It is just RAM, but I'm wondering if it's got a block down in here. No, it's just RAM. So, you know, theoretically, you can put code in your internet vector table, but I wouldn't call it an interrupt if you did that because it would just crash your machine. Um, so that's kind of MSD there. So... Anyway, I'll, I'll conclude the video here, but just more of a deeper dive looking at the ISA card slots, really, and uh, the function of the mouse. So anyway, uh, thanks for checking out my video today.